The news that broke here in New York City today, the terrorist set to be freed right here after he plotted to blow up the New York City subway with a suicide bomb. Najibullah Zazi was trained by al-Qaeda. He was caught after crossing the George Washington Bridge. Prosecutors called it one of the most serious threats to the U.S. since 9-11. The FBI finding bomb-making materials at his home in Aurora, Colorado, and in the car he drove over that bridge into New York. He's been in prison now for 10 years, but today a judge said he could now go free. So why now? ABC's Whit Johnson leading us off. It was the stunning arrest, FBI agents escorting the terrorist off a chopper in shackles. His plot to bomb the New York City subway system was called one of the most serious threats to the U.S. since 9-11. This attempted attack on our homeland was real. It was in motion, and it would have been deadly. But tonight, 33-year-old Najibullah Zazi will soon be a free man. A federal judge telling him, this once unthinkable second chance has come your way and you earned it. Zazi traveled to Pakistan in 2008, training with al-Qaeda in weapons and explosives. When he returned to the U.S., he and two friends in Denver hatched the subway plot, planning to build bombs with beauty products. Seen here, shopping for supplies. Zazi then driving it all across the country and into New York City, over the George Washington Bridge. It was here he learned the FBI was onto him and fled, but they got him. He pleaded guilty, facing life in prison, and then provided what prosecutors today call extraordinary cooperation in America's fight against al-Qaeda, revealing key details of the terrorist group's training, movements, and recruitment methods, meeting with investigators more than 100 times. Prosecutors say he put his own life at risk and deserves a reduced sentence, insisting Zazi has repudiated terrorist ideology. A judge agreed and sentenced him to time served. His lawyer calls that justice. Mr. Zazi, who I met a long time ago, almost 10 years ago, uh, who was a young, young man, has changed dramatically. The reality is that the light at the end of the tunnel is extremely bright for him. All right, so let's get right to Whit Johnson live here in Manhattan tonight. Whit Zazi could be released within days. His attorney was asked today if he has any concerns about his client getting on a subway in New York City again. David, that's right. That attorney saying he has no concerns because his client has been, quote, transformed. In a letter to the judge, Zazi himself apologized for his horrible choices. He now calls America a beacon of light for those with hope. He'll be on supervised release for the rest of his life. David. Whit Johnson leading us off tonight with thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.